Well, good morning, everyone. I'd like to call the 63rd meeting of the National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research uh, to, to order. Um, thank you all for coming. It's going to be a, a busy and important couple of days, um, and we have a lot of ground to cover. So um, uh, with, let's just move right into this. I'll turn this over to Mark for a series of things. <clears throat> so um, normally we start with introduction of new members and staff, and we actually have quite a few to introduce, but before we do that, uh, there are four council members who are, for whom this is the last, uh, their last meeting as they're rotating off of their term of duty. Um, I have to say that uh, we are sorry to see them leave the council. Um, I would expect that they're a lot happier <laughs> and to have their time back. Um, you know, all have been uh, valuable advisors for the past several years, in many cases, even long before that, before they came on council. And in all of these cases, we hope uh, they will continue to be after they rotate off. And we have a small uh, token of our appreciation. So um, the first is Claire, Fraser Liggett. Um, I, sh I should say. <laughs> I should say um, all all of them are involved in uh, in uh, really frontline issues that the NHGRI is dealing with now and will continue to be. Claire is, uh, as you know, heavily involved in microbiome, and uh, all of these issues are things which are going to come up during this this council meeting. Jeff Ginsburg, uh, Jeff, and <clears throat> making valuable contributions in uh, the area of clinical applications. Pilar Osorio, um, and maybe um, uh, taking it a little bit early is David Valley, who's not here yet. Uh, I hope uh, we hope he didn't think that uh, last meeting was his last meeting. We have um, four ad hoc members who are joining us for this meeting. Actually, uh, uh, the first of them, Carlos Bustamante, who's not here, will be joining the council, um, but uh, um, his uh, processing hasn't been completed yet, but he'll be here as an ad hoc. And then um, Sean Eddy, Bill Gilbart, and David Malkin are all uh, joining for this meeting, and uh, uh, we really appreciate uh, your willingness to do this. We get those lovely paperweights as alumni. <laughs> Absolutely. No, you got to serve again and again and again. Um, we have several new staff members, including uh, a number of new program analysts, and I'll just ask them to stand when I call their name. Carolyn Kelly, who'll be working with the, who is working with the Encode program. Chenge Mahomba who is working with H3Africa, Ian Marpuri, working with population genomics, Glenn McFadden is working with the Molecular Libraries Program, Adidi Srivastov is working with T TCGA, I uh, got her name right, but I didn't get the program right, um, and Tamar Rumium is working with the uh, uh, DAC and the ELSI program. Thank you. I um, also want to introduce Derek Scholes, who is uh, chief of the uh, newly hired chief of the Pro Policy and Program Analysis Branch in the Director's Office, OPCE, which you'll hear more about uh, in later in the open session. And Tr Katrina Capusti, who is uh, newly here as an ASHG and HGRI policy fellow. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> As always, we have our reliable and valued liaisons, Rhonda Schoenberg from the National Society of Genetic Counselors and Joanne Bachman from the American Society of Human Genetics. 
And also want to introduce one other guest, um, Greer Page from RTI. If you can, thank you. And is there anybody else who I haven't introduced who should be? If not, we can go on to uh, approval of the minutes, which you should uh, have uh, at least had access to. Is there any, are there any comments or corrections or additions to the minutes from the last meeting? If not, can I have a motion to approve? Second. All in favor? Anyone opposed? And finally, I will just call your attention to the future meeting dates uh, for the council. For some of you, you can ignore those. Um, for the rest of them, please make sure that they're on your calendars. And if there are any problems with any of them for you, uh, let us know as soon as possible. And uh, I'll turn it back to Eric.